All right, everyone, welcome back. And we're still tying up those killer crappie streamers. If you haven't had enough already, it's always good to have different ones in your arsenal. This one is the holographic streamer based on a wet fly for trout. We've expanded it, make it super flashy and super bright for crappies. So as you can see, I've got my thread started. And the first part of the holographic is tying in a piece of mylar tinsel like this one. I got about a four inch one cut. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tie it back in and go down around the bend. And this is a TMCO 200R. This is a curve nymph it's extra long it's got that length on it there so that you can create this great flashy underbody see how I'm going into the bend right there and then I'm gonna come back up to about the one quarter mark on the hook shank I'm gonna come right up about there that's where I'm gonna kind of wrap things up so take your mylar tinsel and wrap it around forming that flashy underbody that's what's going to have a little bit of an attraction now this fly is going to come off looking big on the vise but as you know with marabou and with hackle it condenses down in the water it gets a little more streamlined it takes on that bait fish profile and this flashy tinsel is going to help add to that kind of flickering underneath that attractive marabou and that hackle so where the color is going to come in this is going to serve as our underbody flash this is going to be that draw that we see with crappies that we love something that imitates a minnow now you can see i'm getting near the end of my tinsel i'm wrapping it forward using both hands and then there's a real important part here i'm gonna go twice over with the thread that twice over is going to lock the tinsel there but then I want to come up front because tinsel can be a little bit slippery. I want to put a couple thread wraps in there and then holding it, come back over. So I've got our lock down. I'll do a couple more and then we'll trim off the excess. And that's kind of where our fly begins. We get that nice underbody done, locking it down. We'll trim that off. There we go. That looks great. I'm going to tie it, tighten that up a little bit on the thread, adjust. Our next step is to tie in the marabou wing. Now, the marabou wing gives it that pulsing action in the water. Standard crappie jigs, all sorts of different crappie lures incorporate that. We're going to want to pinch a marabou that goes about to the bend of the hook. So I'm going to get something in my little hank of marabou, go in and trim it off. So I'm looking at something that's about that size. And that's going to give me a wing that goes about one hook length back. I'll even everything up. And at that tie-in point, I am going to lock it down. So I'm leaving room up front, always leaving that room up front there. I'm going to kind of tighten it down. So I got a nice little angle going there, okay? And there is my marabou tail, my marabou wing. That's going to give it that flash, that great look. Boom. That's exactly what we're looking for. You can still see the flash underneath it. The next step then is to create a dubbing yarn. Not a very big one, just enough to kind of cover that up. If you're familiar with the stimulator, it's going to kind of remind you of that. We just want a pinch. I'm going to use some chartreuse ice dub. Now, ice dub is really good, obviously, for continuing that flashy trend that we have going. Put a little on top there and just kind of spinning it with my fingers over that dubbing wax. And that right there is really all we need. I'm going to slide it up. And since we've already got a nice little angle, I'm going to start back here and build that forward. And you can see how it tapered right there. So we got this nice little dubbing head and it's going to act as a little bit of extra attraction a little bit extra flash the next step is to take our soft hackle and we're going to take that soft hackle and we're going to tie it in just in front of that dubbing ball here i'm using chartreuse you can go with whatever colors you want whatever colors you have on hand i like those lighter colors and you can see i'm kind of going right up into the edge of the dubbing with that stem because i'm going to make a fairly large wrap of that hackle I'll cut off the stem here, and then we'll get wrapping. Again, I've got a fairly large hackle here, so I'm not going to use a hackle pliers. Like I said, quick and dirty. I like to make things fast for you on the videos. But here we go. We're going to get that hackle. I'm going to get those first few strands of fiber out, and we're wrapping it very close, wrapping it almost over itself. I'm going to do three or four wraps to make a fairly large collar as I come down the thread. And there's our fourth or so. I'll come down. I'm going to come under and over with the thread once and twice and third time's the charm there we go so you can see i kind of got a splayed collar it's all over the place as we look at that there i'm going to go in trim that front part off get that excess off now as you can see it looks kind of ah, all over the place it looks like it's all out there don't worry about that what we're gonna do is we're gonna stroke these fibers back and we're gonna finish off the fly so what i do 
is I take my index and my thumb, so I've got a good head spot there, and then I'm gonna build a tapered thread head towards the back of the fly. And what that's doing is compressing those fibers a little bit to give it a more of a streamlined look before it hits the water. And I'm gonna build that thread head forward, just like so. And when this gets wet in the water, it's gonna create a little bit more of a heavy set up front, kind of like you know the minnow head is gonna be a little bit bigger on those bait fish in the water. But as you can see, building a little orange, you can use whatever thread works for you. I like the orange because it's a trigger color. But yeah, look at that, because when it all holds down, it's gonna be nice and tapered. Make one more pass through, and then we're gonna whip finish. But if we build this head up, it's really, really looking nice. You can see how it's tapered those back. Here comes our whip finisher. Once around, get her in. And three. Down she goes and up she comes. Let's get in there. Trim that off. Add a drop of head cement. Make sure that it holds really nice and tight. But all in all, it's going to look pretty awesome. When it rips through the water, you're going to have that nice pulsing tail. And things are going to look absolutely fantastic. There it is. The holographic streamer. Flash on the bottom. Wiggle up top. Crappies are going to eat it up. So tie a bunch up and have a ton of fun at the vise.